If you have an extensive shoe collection and are struggling with piles of shoes and mismatched shoes, here is an option that will work really well. What I've done is taken some clear containers and put shoes in them to keep them dust free and completely organized. This way you can see your collection and especially protect those expensive shoes that you may have. A more inexpensive option to try would be to keep the shoes, keep the box the shoes came in, take a picture with your digital camera or a Polaroid and stick it right on the front. Isn't that great? Now you can just stack all your shoes up and you'll know exactly what's in inside each box. If you are also investing in really expensive shoes, ask your shoe store specialist for a bag that you can use to put your travel shoes in. That way it prevents them from getting scuffed and broken, or damaged, I should say. Now, a shoe tree is a must if you're investing in expensive shoes. These are available at almost every shoe specialty store, and it keeps the shape of your shoe and it prevents it from smelling bad, which is really good. Now, if you're one of the people who are lucky enough to have a shoe collection that you lend out to your friends, but then you can't get them back, Here's a great way to keep track of what you have and what's missing. I just took a little number label on each box, one, two, three, four, five, you get the idea. And then when one's missing, you'll know exactly which one to ask back for. Now the main thing to remember when you're organizing shoes or anything else for that matter is to get rid of the ones that are damaged, that are scuffed up, or that you just haven't gotten around to fixing. You know the ones I'm talking about. That way you know what you really have to organize and you're not trying to organize shoes that you're no longer going to be keeping. Remember this applies to anything you're trying to sort out, not just the shoes.